All right, what we have here is, this for me is something I learned from Fleetwood Mac, My Heart Beats Like a Hammer, uh, featuring Peter Green, uh, one of my favorite guitar players. Now this melody, it's one of those things that's handed down. Tons of songs use this riff. I just was first uh, heard it there uh, from the song My Heart Beats Like a Hammer, which B.B. King does and everybody else does. Now, uh, it's an E shuffle. So basically the, the rhythm track, your standard 12 bar blues. Now the lick on top of that, that in that recording I'm talking about, the Blues Jam in Chicago, great record, is uh, Peter plays this through the whole thing. That's my lick. So um, all off of uh, sort of an E minor pentatonic scale with an added natural third, I'm outlining my E7 chord. First chord of the bridge. So it starts on an offbeat, so one. Actually starts on beat two, so one. Now I'm going to slide in. I'm going to use these two fingers. Uh, I might change it while performing. You know, these are all loose rules. So two and three. And the notes are going to be from an E minor pentatonic scale, like I was saying. I'm going to slide in from uh, kind of just below with these two notes, a half step below. I'm sliding up to the B and the D, whether I slide kind of a half step. That's the move. It's a little tricky. So I'm going to slide in. My first finger comes down, gets the A and a C sharp, right? So then open G string and open B string, and I hammer on with my first finger onto the G sharp and get that low E. So what I've done, E7 is E, G sharp, B, and D. B, D, so part of the E7 chord. I have the A and the C sharp, which I see as a passing. Back down to E again. So basically going outlining the E7 chord. So the, the lick starts on beat two, so one. Same kind of lick twice, so three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now, you notice we throw in that low E string. I just did that to keep the time. If you're playing with the band, they're doing it for you. So uh, we're going to take, take the same exact riff and play it on the A chord. But now we can't use the open strings. And we go up here. All right, so I'm going to slide in. Uh, I am on the playing this E, which I guess is the eighth, ninth fret. <laughs> and this G right here with my second finger. So I'm fingering it the same way. Second finger at the seventh fret on the G and the B string. And now I'm going to slide in with my first and second finger. I'm going to get to the C sharp and the E to cover my A chord. I'm going to slide in from a half step below. So I've got. So that's a lick. When I go to my five chord, I'm going to play half of the lick. Going to the four. So on the five chord, same thing. I'm going to slide up into the eleventh and tenth fret. I'm at the ninth fret. And then slide in from below the seventh and the eighth fret. Same exact lick. Now the other half on the A chord. Right? So you just have to work out the timing, listen to it, you'll get it. Now the turnaround, um, I'm doing... And that's a really great turnaround you can use anywhere on an E blues. So the trick on a turnaround is it comes in on beat two. So it's like one. So one, two, three, and four, and one. Three, four. So here I'm just playing E7. There is D7, probably the first D7 you've learned. Slide it up a whole step. Now there's a few things I can do here, so this is for free. I'm giving you this extra as a bonus. You can slide this down in half steps, just as it is. Or I can do what I did in this recording. Or I can just keep the high string open. 
So this one is sort of a mix of the two. To B9. Or I could go from C to B. It's my five chord. Back into the riff. So it's a great riff. You can use it in any tune. I don't have to just play it exactly like that. That lick in itself is really important and an essential blues fill. <laughs> 